Welcome to your in-depth horoscope forecast for week commencing the 9th of December for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to this channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol on the desktop version of YouTube. This week begins with Mercury, the planet of thinking and expression moving into the sign of Sagittarius. It arrives here after a very long journey through the sign of Scorpio, one which began on the 3rd of October. This has been a time of deeper intensity around the way we connect with others, particularly when the retrograde was in motion. And of course, it only came out of shadow on the 7th, uh, late last week. So there may be something that's finally unraveled to our satisfaction, particularly around an agreement or something that's being discussed very carefully. And of course we have the Sun in the sign of Sagittarius too. So this brings a freer, lighter vibe to bear, perfect for the seasonal festivities which are now beginning to heat up. The Sun's also forging all through this week a terrific semi-sextile with Pluto. So we have the opportunity to be more adventurous, more outgoing and perhaps more independent minded, but also can see how our actions by being more free spirited can actually work out in a more tangible way with Pluto's help. Now at the very start of this week, on Monday and Tuesday, Venus is forging a beautiful link with Mars, one which is very much to do with attraction. But for the core of this week, Venus is combining in a conjunction with Saturn, and these two is not a lightweight combination. In fact, it could be a bit of a touch and go moment for certain involvements. If a relationship has been bumping along the bottom, whether it's a business tie, a friendship, maybe there have been strains within the family, or it is more in a personal involvement, I think this can be a time to think very carefully about the arrangement. Ironically, there is a tremendous link this week between Jupiter and Uranus still, and that's very spontaneous and can be very positive for marshalling our resources in a more inventive but also progressive way. It doesn't mean to say that we should be ultra risk-taking, but at the same time it does suggest we should be open-minded, but particularly where we can see some tangible benefits accruing. Now Thursday sees a full moon in the sign of Gemini, one which is forging a quincunx with both Saturn and Venus. I think basically this is just saying to us that when we're talking things through, particularly around a relationship issue, it is going to be important to stay both in touch with the more sensitive side of things, but also the more practical side of things. Also, Mars all through this week is forging a gorgeous angle to Neptune. And if ever there was a time to try to enter into the Christmas spirit, especially in terms of forgiveness or compassion, then this aspect will certainly be an asset. But as the week draws to a close, there is on Friday through to Sunday a fantastic link between Saturn and Mars. If we think about Saturn being about structure and Mars being about moving forwards, we could move forwards in a way which can really be quite tangible and that can be a very satisfying end to this week. Your specific forecast Aquarius shows Mercury, the planet of communication, moving into the friendliest part of your scope. Your timing is absolutely impeccable when it comes to the festivities. It has been going through your sector of worldly interaction ever since the 3rd of October. So if you have found yourself thinking a lot about your job, your role in life, or how people perceive you, it wouldn't be a surprise. Of course, Mars, the planet of drive, continues in this area, so you're going to have quite an authoritative vibe that will continue until the first couple of days of 2020. Not to say you don't ordinarily have an authoritative vibe, but it is enhanced at this time. But this week, it's also softened through the guise of Neptune. This could see you using your natural leadership skills to 
uh, enter into some kind of fundraising drive, particularly for those who are less fortunate. Often Aquarius people can be very altruistic. This is a week, however, that does see Venus combining with Saturn in your 12th solar house. This has lots of different variants. It's possible that you could start to feel much more nostalgic for someone that you used to know. There could be a Christmas card that turns up unexpectedly, which gets you thinking or pulls at your heartstrings. Yes, there could be some kind of connection to an old flame. Will they turn up in person? That depends on your unique situation. Then again, in an existing tie, if things aren't really as you would like, this could pitch you into a much more inward and rather reflective mode. One which could see you really wondering whether it's right to stay in this relationship or not. What I would say to you is that as Venus makes it way, its way into your sign before the end of this year, it's going to give you an opportunity to feel much more in the here and now when it comes to your relationships. So rather than feeling any great need to make a definitive decision, I think on the back of the full moon, which occurs on Thursday, just wait to see the information that comes to you. Actually, the sun's forging a gorgeous angle to Pluto this week, and it could be someone's discreet message or uh, reach out to you, which proves to be very reassuring, or perhaps you'll just take a step back and see something in a completely different way. Now, Uranus is in a very restless part of your situation as far as home and family are concerned. But it's possible with Jupiter in a great link with Uranus that you could hear from someone in a completely unexpected way, which absolutely thrills you. It's been a real pleasure being with you. If you'd like to go beyond your zodiac sign and discover what 2020 will hold for you based on your personal birth data of time, date and place of birth, please see the link beneath this video. You can get the rest of this year free and 30% off. But for now, good luck and goodbye.